Hey Summers, welcome to make two and another let's build video. So we're going to build this house shown here. I'm not actually going to build the exact same house because where is the fun in that? But I will build a house that basically looks just like it. We've already done a tour of this house on our channel, fully furnished, so I'm not going to furnish the house in this video either, but just give you basically the shell of it so that you can go in and put in whatever furniture and decorations you want. So I'm going to build the house on a teen idol mansion lot, and what I've got here is a pre-built teen idol mansion, and I'm just deleting all of the rooms, so all of the furniture will go into inventory, and when I'm done with the deletion, you'll just have the teen idol fence left over, and you can then build on the lot whatever you want. So another reason I wanted to do this let's build is because I'm probably going to destroy this house in my town because I'd like to have more room for building new houses and I built this a long time ago and kind of wanting to do something new and different so I need room in my town but I don't want to lose the house completely I'd like to if you know the occasion ever came back or I wanted to rebuild the house in my town I'd want to know how I did it so this let's build is partly for me as well <laughs> So this room here is going to be the kitchen, and off of that we've got a laundry room and a guest bathroom. On the other side, we're going to have a very big living and dining room area. And in the middle, I'm going to draw the hallway. However, I'm going to extend it really far. You will see why in a little bit, but basically it's to set up the building of the balcony bridge later. So we often get asked what are the total costs of the buildings that we make in our Let's Build series, and I don't always keep track because I'm pretty bad about that, and sometimes I make mistakes when I'm filming the video, and that costs money as well. But I would estimate that the total price of this one is about 4 million simoleons, including the cost of the Teen Idol Mansion. If you want to know how to get more simoleons and LPs as well, we've got a video where we walk through our recommended methods. If you want to know how to get the Teen Idol Mansion, we've got a video of the Road to Fame quest. So we've got a couple of guest suites on the second floor. Then going up to the third floor is where I imagine more of a family set of rooms to go. When we did the tour of this house, we called it the Island Vacation House, and that's kind of what I set it up as, basically just a house with a really big fancy pool where I imagine a family could come and just enjoy their summer vacation, and if they wanted to have guests, they could have guests on the second floor. So that's all the rooms drawn in the main part of the house, and I'm also going to add a basement, which I don't think is in the original house tour because we didn't have basements available in the game at the time. But basically that's going to be a small guest bathroom, and then there are just a couple of playrooms in the basement. Okay, so as I mentioned, that room is important for the balcony bridge, so this is just drawing the balcony along the entire part of the room, and now you go back down to the room and shrink it. And once you do that, the balcony is left floating. A really easy way to make a balcony bridge. We've got other ways to make balcony bridges in another video on our channel called How to Build Balcony Bridges, which we will link in the video description below as well. So now I'm just putting these staircases in. And now the doors. So I'm going for a black and white theme throughout the house, so I'm going with these white doors. And you will see black and white as I continue decorating. As usual with our Let's Build videos, feel free to make whatever changes to the house you want in your town. If you're sharing pictures of it somewhere on social media, like Facebook or wherever, we'd appreciate a shout out and let people know that you got the design from us, make two.
This is the door to the bathroom and just an open doorway to the wardrobe and closet area. And that's going to be mirrored in the room across the hall, or the set of rooms across the hall. And on the right here is the master suite for the family set of rooms. So I would imagine the parents living here. And then across the hall, a couple of bedrooms for kids. I'm just drawing a little Juliet balcony up here on the third floor. So now we can put windows in, and again, still just going for the white windows to keep the white and black theme that I will eventually have. So because this is a big, blocky, mansion sort of looking house, I am trying to put the windows generally in the same place on each floor, just so it looks a little more organized and symmetrical. So the one place I'm going to have a little break from the black and white theme is upstairs in the family quarters. So the kids get to have colorful carpets to express their individuality. And the parents will have a bit more of an interesting kind of wallpaper to express their individuality. So for the kids, I'm using this martial arts and ballet wallpaper, which get unlocked if you complete the hobbies for the preteens to do ballet and martial arts.
So now I'm going to do the basement. And for the floors, I'm going for this blue carpet just to have something a little bit different and more cozy. It's a basement. There are playrooms. So that's basically the inside of the house, and now we can get started on the pool. So the key to drawing pools in Sims Freeplay is the minimum size of a pool has to be 3 by 3, and you want to carefully draw them to intersect. And if you want to have an island in the middle of a pool like this, you need to draw pools around the area where you want the island to be. It's taken me a long time to feel comfortable with pools. Usually if there's a big fancy pool on a property like this, it takes me some trial and error to get it right. It just takes practice and experience. So I'm putting stone paving around the pool and going for the widest possible paving so that it comes up to the house and matching the paving for the pool on the balcony. I'm going to choose a black iron railing. And now that we've got this island with the balcony bridge over it, I can put a staircase in, and that's easy access to the pool from that floor of the house. So that is basically it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this Let's Build. Please feel free to let us know in the comments what you think, and if you're new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims Freeplay videos on the way. Thanks for watching.